Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve this easy lead code question which is contains duplicate. The problem statement says given an integer array nums and an integer k return true if there are two distinct ind indices i and j in an array such that nums i equals equals nums j and absolute difference between their indices is less than equal to k. Looking at these examples, so for this particular example, the output should be true as these two numbers are equal and the difference between these indices is 2 minus 0, which is 2 less than equal to 3. For this one, the result is true because these two numbers are same and the difference between their indices is 0, which is less than k, that is 1. For this particular example, the output should be false because the difference between the indices of 1 which is uh, 3 minus 0 is 3 which is not less than equal to 2 and so is, is the case with other number which is same that is 3. Okay, so how would you solve it using brute force algorithm? For if You can take a number and check if the array contains this number again. If yes, you can do the difference between their indices and see if, it's, if it is less than or equal to k. But with this approach, for every number, you will have to traverse the array and see if, this, if the array contains the same number again. But what if we can store this information somewhere and retrieve it very fastly instead of traversing the whole array again. Pause the video for a minute or so and think about what would be the data structure that you can use here. If your answer is hash map, you are on the right path. Whenever you are presented with any interview question, you should try to see if you can fit any data structure just to optimize the performance. Okay, so let's implement the solution. So our map would look something like this. So the key in our hash map would be the value itself and the value in our hash map would be the list of indices on which that particular value is present. So we'll iterate our array. We'll get the list of indices on which this particular value is present. Let's traverse on this these indices. Check if the difference if the difference is less than or equal to the integer k we need to return true else we need to return false i meant we need to return false if we are not able to return true within this loop along with this step we also have to update our map so let's add this particular indices update the map for this particular number with the list of indices okay so we are done with the coding part let's run this code okay so the result is good let's submit it to see okay so our code submission is successful so if you like this video don't forget to click the like button and also please subscribe to my channel and also put out a comment to let me know 
what other kind of videos you guys are interested in seeing on this channel. That's it for this video. Thank you. Bye.